Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about Red and this drama going on with her new makeup brand, which isn't really new, but she's relaunching it. We're going to get into it. If you're interested in her, female rap, pop, conspiracy theory, chain topics, and popular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, go ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. Okay, so we all know Red, there's no need to introduce her crazy self. Um, as y'all know, some of y'all who have been watching me, I do not care for sexy red like that. I don't, I really don't like her music. I don't like anything she stands for. I don't like nothing she do. I don't care for sexy red, but what I can acknowledge is a lot of people do like her. A lot of people do rock with her music. A lot of people, you know, look at sexy red as a girl who can make a carefree, fun, hood classic. You know what I'm saying? So I can give her that. I can give her, she has solidified her position in female rap <laughs> in a way because, you know, people mess with some of the music that she does put out. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially her last couple of records people really rock with it so I can give her her respect for garnering the audience that she's garnered okay but it does look like according to social media that she has relaunched this brand of lip glosses which this isn't really new I actually heard about this a long time ago that she made this like I guess when she first started to emerge or whatever and I don't think she was nearly as popular at the time so maybe some people are just now learning about this but these lip glosses actually aren't new but they are re-bursting onto the scenes of social media and a lot more people are hearing and talking about them and saying how disgusting that they are, which yes, they're disgusting and we're going to get into them in just a second. But first, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. I don't know why people are surprised to see this, um, given the type of music that Sexy Red makes, the audience that she has, the attitude that she has, how she carries on. I don't know how people are really surprised by it. <laughs> <laughs> surprised by this um but some people are surprised some people are just plain disgusted i will say this though the whole thing feels like a joke like her, sexy red's entire image feels like a joke her whole brand feels like a joke everything feels like a giant joke which i'll get into that in a second but um you know i don't know how serious we're supposed to take this because it's like it, it feels like more of a gag gift type of thing it doesn't feel like it would be a real thing that like somebody swears by lives by dies by type of thing you know what i mean like, oh my gosh, I picked up the new red lip gloss and like, I live by this. This The quality is there. The flavor, the taste, the the smell, everything is perfect. The smell, ironically enough. <laughs> um, Everything is perfect. You know, I love this brand. This is a very uh, upstanding brand. Like, I don't think that it's giving that. It's giving, you know, just some one-off thing. Maybe she'll make tons of money off of it because of the shock value and because of how direct it is and how crazy it is and how off-putting it is that that's her selling point so you know shock value which is like woohoo more shock value sales you know what I'm saying but as far as a solidified concrete serious brand I don't know how many people are going to be like invested in it for that type of way you know what I mean also going back into my other point that I mentioned that I want to elaborate on is that sexy red's entire brand everything about her this lip gloss her image how she acts how she talks how she carries on it comes across as a joke i don't take her seriously as an artist because everything she does come off comes off as a joke as a gimmick and as a portrayal of a stereotypical ghetto black woman that's all it is i feel 100 percent that you know not to say that these types of women ex don't exist i feel like in real life we all know somebody who kind of acts like sexy redder is very similar to her has a similar attitude carries on a similar way is shameless doesn't care about anything and is unapologetic uh, unapologetically hood these women exist but the betrayal uh to this magnitude in the media i feel the industry is purposely pushing her to the forefront to be that terrible bad raunchy representation for black women to set us back that's what i think um <laughs> you know what i'm saying but we say oh no everybody loves sexy red no 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 the industry isn't pushing her the industry was pushing ice spice the industry was very obviously pushing ice spice in our faces to get us to take to her but then when the album came out nobody bought it she was very inflated by the industry very pushed very marketed very well very you know what i'm saying I feel like Sexy Red is very similar in the way that the industry pushes her, inflates her, puts her in our faces, 
um, and pushes this very stereotypical, very one-sided, very negative representation of Black women and force feeds her to us. And then makes us look even crazier by having her put out disgusting lip gloss flavors. I feel like in the mainstream media for urban media and female rap, we only have a very small fraction of uh, Black women representation and it's booty shaking, over sexuality, and braunchiness, hyper ghetto-ness. All of the negative things, you know, associated with Black women are what are the most popular things or what are forefronted or what are pushed when black women are so much more than shaking butt constantly a ghetto stereotype hey my coochie pink my booty brown a super ghetto super bad attitude super hypersexual super all of these things are what are pushed as the main representation for black women not a problem if there are some sprinkles of it here and there, but it's pushed as the main representation, as what people will turn on their phones and see us, and that's what they see that we are to them. That's the problem. That's what's being pushed and forefronted as this is the face of what Black women are in America. Megan the Stallion twerking on the Camilla Harris rally is a representation of what Black women look like in America to other people who don't know us. That's, that's how we're being represented as a whole. That's the issue. Not, you know, a sprinkle of it here and there, da, da, da. The issue is the main representation when there's so many different versions of Black women out here who exist, me being one of them, and I get stereotyped as being white because people aren't used to the representation of me because I don't act a certain way um, on my videos or I don't have a certain accent or a dialect or I speak how I speak and I, I'm hyper-analytical and I'm critical and all of these different things. We have one type of representation that people are used to and... That is what they see, and that's what's forefronted, and that's all people know. But anyway, uh, I could talk about this forever because it's really troubling, and this is why it's like I don't like her. I don't really like her because I feel like she's being pushed. I feel like she's being manufactured and being told, hey, be as crazy as possible. Be over the top as possible. Do the most raunchy, stereotypical thing that you can think of because this is what your position is. This is what the part that you play in the industry period. That's it. That's it. And that's all. But anyway, let me go ahead and um, <clears throat> read some of the titles of these lip glosses. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some of these yummy flavors. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to purchase. Um, We got Uchi Juice. B-O-O-T-Y Whole Brown. Yummy. Um, Nut. <laughs> and not like the peanuts in the jar, guys. Um... <laughs> P-U-S-S-Y whole pink yellow discharge. Got that's an STD. What else we got right here? Blue balls. Wonderful. And SEX on my period. How classy. So, you know, none of this feels like a gimmick to y'all. None of this feels like a hyper portrayal of ghetto black women. None of this feels like a ploy. None of it. Am I the only one who sees it from that lens? Oh, well. That's fine. I'll, I'll stand in that alone. But anyway, this is a mess. Um, this is an absolute mess. But let's go ahead and get into some comments. This person says, just so we are clear, she represents women, yes or no? This person says, does Billy Porter represent all men? And it's like, I get what this person is saying, though. Um, some people can say, oh, well, she's not my representation. Well, it doesn't matter whether or not you feel like she's your representation or not. She is your representation. When other people look at her, they see all of us through her. So it's not about whether you personally identify with her being your representation. She's still a part of Black women's representation, whether we want her to be or not, through other people's eyes. Um, bring back shame. I'm a stick to my Fenty gloss, right, period. Why would I put yellow D on my goddamn lips? Was the names like Red Ski not available? Please cancel this girl. Clutches my Mary Kay lip gloss. I'm not the target audience and that's okay. I'm elderly, sits back in a rocking chair and judges. She missed her real marketing bag by not coming out with a collection of different shades of red. Um, she'd rather do this nasty mess. I'm good. Yeah, that would have been cool being that her name is red. Like she could have come out with different shades of red lip gloss or red lipstick or red clothes even. That would have been really nice and not disgusting. Um, not demure at all. <laughs> not very cutesy. 
the entire ghetto. Yeah, it's extremely embarrassing too. Like, it's extremely embarrassing. Honestly, please draw the line and don't y'all have kids buying this effery because, huh? Yellow D is crossing the line, ba- I mean, all of it's crossing the line. We're not going to stop there. Like, it's all of it is crossing the line. Give it three years and it will be in city trend shelves. That is so embarrassing. Like, imagine seeing this in any store. I would be so embarrassed. Wait, this isn't going to go to stores, is it? Or is it just going to be on her personal website? Because if it's on her personal website, get your life, whatever. I don't care. But that being in the store and me, like, passing by it, I'm just cringing from embarrassment. Um, Who on her team was like, yeah, this is the one? Nope, I'm not the audience. She's targeting. Keep on manifesting this on your lips and it's really going to happen. It's a hard no for me, right? Why would you even want to speak that onto yourself or be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put this type of thing on my lips that represents something bad? Like, uh, no, it's gotten worse and worse as I read the names. If you're willing to put gonorrhea (laughs) on your lips, I don't know what you're capable of, right? Like, what kind of person are you? Like, I'm questioning what kind of person you are at that point. I wish the F I would buy my daughter this ish. Uh, I hope not. Um, I hope this ish flops harder than LeBron in the NBA Finals game because ain't no way y'all should be buying this. Yeah, no. Unless it's a joke. But even if it is a joke, I'm not wasting my money on a joke like this. I was like, this is amazing for her brand. Very smart. And then I read the names of the glosses. I blame every person who felt we needed to stray from class and morals. I pray the young ladies who are entertained or wish to follow this BS are seeing different with ladies in their immediate environments exactly when i was growing up lip gloss had fruity names this is just tacky in my opinion yeah this is terrible no thank you why another flop who's her manager because what std approved she couldn't call it ski yellow yeah or something this is really sad for the young girls that's thinking these names are a flex I get making money, but she could have used other names, SMH. Yes, it's purposeful. It's intentional. It is to corrupt the minds of people and set us back. That's all it is. It's intentional. It's very intentional. This wasn't like a fly by the seat of your pants choice. Everything is done intentionally. Um, And she sells all the way out too. My daughters bet not think that, uh, even think to ask. Those names are trash. This is ridiculous. The F. When are the feminine groups going to get together and cancel this BS? Y'all call or y'all cancel men for cheating. When are y'all going to cancel the effery that your children and selves are being indoctrinated from by these celebrity? It's indoctrination. It is. It's up to y'all to boycott and call out this BS. Yeah, those are some comments. It's definitely normalization. It's indoctrination. It's kind of like making these things like acceptable and normal and fun and fine and carefree when there's nothing normal fun fine or carefree about it it's it's to normalize i know it's it's crazy how people are like oh no she's just having fun it's nothing no it's called normalization it's called normalization but anyway some of y'all aren't ready for that but that's fine the ones who get it get it but anyway i love you guys to death and that is it for this one i will talk to you in the next one